this video, I'm going to show you how to take really beautiful and perfect screenshots in Lord of the Rings Online. Trust me, it's like a huge community oriented thing that a lot of people love to do. It's a super important thing that you need to know. Trust me. Not only that, I'm going to tell you which locations I actually personally like to go in order to get really beautiful screenshots. So just keep watching. But before I can tell you my secret spots to take screenshots, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Seriously though, subscribing is super helpful for my channel to get more visibility and such. So I would greatly appreciate it if you just hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. But anyway, let's just get right into the video. So I'm actually gonna give you the basics of taking a screenshot in Lotro right now. So if you didn't know, you can actually like position your character differently depending on your mouse. If you were to hit your right mouse, it's actually gonna turn your character if you were to hold it and then turn it but if you were to do your left side of your mouse you can actually hold it and then like move your camera not including your character so it's actually really beneficial to know i'm sure it sounds so basic i know every one of y'all are sitting here like dude i already know that but i just want to make it clear and specific for people in case they don't Next thing is, how do I take a screenshot? It's literally by default just F11 on the top of your keyboard. And then when you do take a screenshot, it's actually gonna tell you in the general chat. So here I'm gonna take a quick screenshot. As you can tell, it tells me that it saved the screenshot, what it's titled, and where it's saved to. So it's always gonna be saved to wherever your Lotro files are in case you can't find them. But then when you look at your screenshot, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I have like everything on my user interface. Uh, I don't want all this crap on here. You can simply just hit F12 as the default and feel free to always change these in the settings, by the way, if you were to go into your settings and then options, you could go through some of your keybinds and then you could change that from there. But here, if we do hit F12, we're actually gonna get rid of our like entire user interface and it's actually gonna show just your character and whatever your landscape is. Here we're in the beautiful Lothorian. So of course, it's just gorgeous looking. Chef's kiss, mwah. So personally, I actually really like to zoom in entirely and not even have my character in my screenshot. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reposition it and then wherever I wanna line it up. So here, I'm actually just gonna line it up over by the bridge and then I'm gonna zoom in all the way and then it kind of gives you like a wide shot view. Of course, there is someone way over here in the distance running my shot, but maybe it adds to the moment and who knows. But here, this is like a beautiful moment. It looks so good. The landscapes that they built out for Lotro are just so beautiful. So I definitely recommend just doing some screenshots here or wherever you are. I'm telling you, if you were to zoom in, it makes like a world of a difference. <laughs> it really truly does. And then of course you can zoom out like super, super far too and show your character off in the distance here. So maybe I'm like, you know what? I wanna show them uh, being admired by these very large tree buildings in like the main city of Lothorian. And if you hit F11, it definitely will take a screenshot while your user interface isn't up. It'll take a screenshot, but there's really no way to alert yourself if it's been taken. You just gotta have to hit the button and then hit F12 again, look at your chat and your general chat, and then just confirm that it did get taken. So pretty basic tutorial overall. Mostly why I wanted to make this video is to tell you my top places for taking screenshots. If you want some water shots, Evendim's actually like a really good location to get some of those. And make sure you just rotate your character just to kind of show them like behind any of the landscapes. So so like this is like a beautiful screenshot. I might even change it so that like the ruins aren't in the back of a Numinous, but it's like really awesome. If only I wasn't drunk. Now I personally love taking screen recordings or even screenshots of myself going through Rivendell over by the last homely house. I just really love the trees against like the misty mountain. But it's also nice too because some of like the elfish architecture is just really beautiful and low. Also, another thing too to mention about your screenshots is if you actually do see like all of these titles above the NPCs or even actual players who are roaming around, you can actually hit N as the default keybind to cover their names. And I'm sure you all have seen my videos. I also highly recommend that you check out some of Gondor because they have really nice like water type of views. I love going to Breland because it's more of like the 
folky type of vibe not only with that i also like going around like meekle delving and some of the shire because they have like really nice looking sunflowers that are blooming i also couldn't have made this video without speaking about the pristine glade in dunlin it's honestly my number one go-to place it's so peaceful and just so beautiful looking and the way that you would get there is if you're on the map you would have to go out past the dunbog which is kind of funny because it's like this swampy area but then it's like this hidden cave and like this disgusting swamp that you wouldn't want to be in and this hidden cave has like beautiful waterfalls with a big tree my favorite place to take screenshots overall though has to be for cal as much as i don't like questing here it's actually a really nice place to take screenshots what's really awesome about this is that at night they have like northern lights so it's so beautiful trust me and then here you get like the snowy vibes but then they also have a lot of water and icebergs so it makes you feel like you're in a very cold climate but the water movement actually gives you a little more to pay attention to in comparison to misty's where it's just snow mountain ice <laughs> and then of course if you wanted more like darker tone photos you could definitely go to like engmar mordor go to moria where there's more like crystals and light but mostly darkness it's kind of more inspiring to some extent you could even go to agamar in lonelands if you really needed to if you can't get to engmar yet or mordor yet because mordor is a hike trust me I still haven't gotten there yet. And there you have it guys, that's actually all I've got for this video today. I hope that this helped you at least figure out how to take screenshots if you didn't. And I definitely encourage you to check out some of the Lotro forums because there are a lot of people that love to put their screenshots and especially in Facebook groups. People love showing off their screenshots and there are some crazy ones that are so awesome. So I highly encourage you to check out some of those screenshots and take some of your own. And don't forget, I actually do have some videos down below in a playlist for you of any Lotro tips and help that you may need to further better your journey in Middle Earth. And until next time, stay weird weirdos.